Devon! Hey William! I've got something to tell you. Tell me. Eurovision is my booty. Yes, Eurovision is our world and it is Albania's world after Lindida Halimi won Festival Kungis 55. She is headed to Eurovision. Should she revamp her song? Let's discuss it. <laughs> Let's do this! Devin, as you know, Albania has a rich history of taking its winner from Festival Kungis, revamping it, spitting it out. Sometimes it's amazing, Juliana Pasha. And sometimes it's not a fairy tale. Yeah, we love Aneta, but the song didn't work out. So the question is, should Lindita revamp? Shoot. I don't think she should. First of all, Bote hasn't had to go through that shoehorning process of being squeezed into three minutes coming from seven. Yes. It's already three minutes. And it's about the mood, and it's about Lindita's vocals and presence, and boy does she bring oh. it. You know, I think if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Her voice is the bota. I mean, there's a reason Keith Urban, Harry Connick Jr., and Jennifer Lopez were- Jennifer yeah. Lopez! on American Idol. Lindita is an amazing performer. You know she lives in Atlanta? Hotlanta. I thought she lived in Tirana. Hotlanta, honey. She, something about the Kosovar women, because she's from Kosovo, yeah. they can sing Rona Nishalu. Oh, kill it. Said Eurovision, but that's beside the point. Listen. And she's not a heavy girl no more. No, she's 120 pounds. That's amazing. That's a lot. That's inspirational. Mm -hmm. You know, I lost 35 pounds. You? Yeah. When? Or well, was two stone, whatever that is, in 2006. But we can talk about that later. What? Yeah, cue the photo. Hey, babes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I moved to Vietnam, had a bicycle, I ate noodles, bam. So listen. I think it's always hard to judge Festival Kungi songs because they're forced to perform with an orchestra. And when you sing a song to a live orchestra, it's different than singing a song at Eurovision. Now, I don't know all the technicalities involved in that. I just know I always find it difficult to judge Festival Kungi songs because my opinion changes so much when I hear it at Eurovision. Because Aneta's song at Eurovision was much better, I thought, than the one at Festival Kungi. You know what, you know, I Liam, this is a very interesting point. I hadn't even thought of that. Because not only is it very different, the fact that it's a live orchestra as well, composers play to that and yes. will... Because the songs tend to sound quite alike. It's that same exactly. sort of mood. And so that's why I always get really confused after Festival Kungi because do I love a song? Do I hate a song? Do I, you know, does anything change? I'm gonna be honest, Bota at Festival of Kungis didn't do that. I thought it, she should have won. Oh, oh yeah. She was, she was the best. It was no like a out. seven hour show, but yeah, hey. And she stood out. And for me, though, it was about her. It was about the power of the performance. It was about Lindita. It wasn't she killed like, it! She could have sung anything and I would have been like, amazing. Mm. So, this is the thing. You know, some people say, should she kill the song like El Hayda Donnie did and come with something really modern? You know, she actually wrote lyrics to El Hayda's song. Funny enough. Yeah. So, you know, so there's coming from that well, angle. Well, the English lyrics, yeah. Yeah, coming from that angle, I'm like, yeah, replace it with something more modern. But at the same time, because she performed with a live orchestra, I don't know what this will be like with the remastered. Do you know what I'm saying? I heard the YouTube video of the remastered one. The official audio version? Yeah, and she, I felt like live, she gave it more power in life, but will she give the same power in life when it's not an orchestral background? But she's gonna sing an English version, right? Yes, Big apparently mistake. she is. Big mistake! We don't know that, we haven't heard keep English lyrics. It. No, I think you've got to keep it real, and you've got to keep it authentic. And the beauty of Bote is the mood. The lyrics are creating it, it creates a mood. The lyrics are completely immaterial, and I think switching it to English... Yeah, the lyrics are not immaterial. Switching yeah. it to English is going to be trickier because it hasn't got the strongest melody. Listen, we don't want her to pull a Hersey Mamouya. Oh, that just, one night anger! It became two weeks of anger. I mean, the, the Albanian version had soul, whereas the English really kind of... But then again, she's a native English speaker. This is the difference. Lindita speaks... She's a fluent English speaker. She's married to an American. Her English is better than ours. You know what I'm saying? So she can change it in a subtle, significant way. Whereas... I, I'm not suggesting she's going to have enunciation issues. What I'm suggesting is that it might even if she... Yeah, it loses the soul. And even if she's not even a... Uh, a strong Albanian speaker, the fact is, those judging won't know that. We should point out that she actually said she will change the language, so maybe she will sing part of it in Albanian and part of it in English. We don't know if it's going to be a full-on English change. Who knows? I just know that she can handle anything. I think that when we hear her live at Eurovision concert, the London Eurovision party, you know, it's real calling. There won't be live. any orchestra though. Yeah, no, I think that's when we will know if we love the song, because she live is so good. I mean, personally, I'm, 
I love Melita. The thing I think is Melita. I would actually love her to experiment behind the scenes about maybe, you know, she does write a more modern song, and then she tests it, and if she prefers that to A completely new that. song? Yeah, why not? Alhaida Dali did it. And I know there was this reason. Oh, oh, but we she, had, she had the rug pulled on her, though. So, allegedly, there's always a front. Maybe she actually just wanted a better song. We don't know. Honestly, we, you can't just, you can't take at face value what people say, because this is a big game. I love Alhaida. What I'm saying is, it was a good move, because she, I think she came ninth for Televoters, Alhaida, with, with, with DL, her original song, she wouldn't have. Fact. I'm sorry, fact. All I know is this, I trust in Lindita because she's an artist, so she will know what is best. So she behind the scenes in Highline of GA right now, she, things are spinning in her head, she will decide whether to rewrite a song, whether to revamp a song, blah blah blah, and it'll be good because she knows- You know what? I am going to speak to you, Lindita. I think your song is beautiful, I think it really captures the mood when I heard you sing it, you know, I was already fading to death because your, your festival at Genghis is so long. Mm. And you <laughs> brought a certain sense of power, believability, conviction. Yes. And I think you'll bring all those elements to Eurovision. Yes, there won't be an orchestra, but all those magical elements remain. Changing it to English strips much of its soul. Coming up with a new song feels fraudulent. Wow. Commit to what you already have. I must say, I love the James Bond element. Mm. I, I like the song much more now, actually, than I did mm. when I did the show. I think there is a very powerful James Bond element, and it's going to stand out, inevitably, because people don't go for that as much. Can she did it, and she did great, so if Lenita does it, maybe she'll do it just as well. Who knows? I mean, I'm quite excited, actually. Oh, I'm it's really very excited. exciting. Did you watch her performance of It's a Man's Man's World? Oh, oh look they, at all those vocal the judges, flourishes. Jennifer were, Lopez was gone. They were shocked. They gone. Were, God! Because Lindita's not, yes, she's a diva in that she can sing, but she's not a B I T C H. You know, she's, no, 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 she's, she's like a sweet diva. And so, you've got to watch her interview she gave when we vlogged afterwards. Our friend Tamir Rajin Kosovo filmed an interview with her on stage for us. She's just so, like, sweet. She says, y'all, because she's living in the hotline of GA. That's where I'm from. My sister was. I thought she lived in Tirana. Are you yeah, sure? Honey, <laughs> she, from Pristana to Tirana via Atlanta to Kiev, she is global. Bota. Oh. She is all over. In any case, I'm clearly sitting on the fence. Devin has taken a side. Oh, I'm firmly with you, Lindita. I'm in it with you. Thank you. And you're going to slay on the left it. side of the scoreboard in Kiev, okay. pushing Albania to the top. You're heading for the top. He loves it. But what do you think? You can let us know here on We Would Love. Please like, please subscribe. And guess what? There's so many platforms where you can follow We Would Vlogs. Instagram. Facebook. Pinterest. Tumblr. Flicker! Flicker! Mm. Flicker! <laughs> we'll see you later! Bye!